And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed Tarek. Got a new, new donation deck. We're going to be combining uh, these two. So kind of the, the core of our deck is going to be Tarek being able to support Zed and then also Blessing of Targon. We're going the full three Blessing of Targon. Grant an ally plus three plus three permanent. Only costs one more mana than... Um, Fury of the North, which is a highly played card, but it's a permanent buff, and it only it gives one less health, but permanent. So our our plan is to go Blessing of Targon on the Taric, make Taric a 5-7, and then support over to Zed and give that permanent buff over on the Zed also, making Zed a 6-5, and then attacking, you know, with the Living Shadow with the stats. So that's what we have there. We also have, we have one Zed is played for the Overwhelm. I know... We don't have a second Zenith Blade, so we don't like draw the other one, but oh well, we don't really <clears throat> don't really care about that. All we need is the first one. We don't want to get a bunch of them in hand. But we got other protection with Twin Disciplines and Bastion. Um, Pill Cascade can also be a little bit of uh, protection. We also have Sonic Wave that can give an ally Challenger, and so that, that works great with Taric. We can give like Taric Challenger and then also have Zed have Challenger as well, take out a couple of things. Um, and then, of course, you know, we have the Resonating Strike. We could be doing that as well. You know, either one of those, however we want to set that up. Um, besides that, for other support, we have Mountain Sojourners kind of doing the same thing as Blessing of Targon with the get granting the ally plus two plus two. Same with Mentor of the Stones granting the ally plus two plus two. And then, of course, Mentor of the Stones can give us all these gems. And the gems work really well with both Zed and Taric as well, especially with the Overwhelm from Zenith Blade. And then, um, as far besides that, we just have other units to go and curve out. We got our Soldier and Shield Barracks. They're great uh, one drop, two drop. Green Glade Duo is an awesome two drop. This is a really good one to support with, like Mentor the Stones to grow it, um, or or any of our other things that can just grow it and be a huge elusive. <clears throat> so that's pretty awesome. So that's why we got Green Glade Duo in here. Priestess is like our late game card. You know, it's a three mana card. But we're not really playing this on turn three. This is our late late game card. That we play something else, maybe a gem or whatever, and then we can play this and invoke and get some some late game power with the power of invoke. All right, so that's our deck. Let's give it a try. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked, and we'll see where we end up. All right, and then after this, then we're gonna have Nocturne Sejuani, combining Fearsome and Frostbite and a little. Nightfall in there as well. Alright, looks like we're playing against They Who Endure. With a new card, um, Stalking Shadows, I think. That card is awesome. We do need to draw our early units. Kind of unfortunate with looking at eight cards. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There's there's a card that we want to keep, Zed. It's like if this if this was our opening hand, these four, I'd mulligan those four also. So that's not great whenever you mulligan all four of your first cards, then all four of your second cards, you would have mulliganed those as well. Oh, really, Shield Bear? Now you show up? Well, still not too late. Come block Callista. Still see far and clear. Devotion through battle. Bird awaits out. Doesn't really make much sense to attack with that shield bearer. Um, we could cast this resonating strike, but it doesn't doesn't really seem like we need to. We can just save the one spell mana. Don't just do two damage to them. <clears throat> All right, but good removal. Getting Callista out of here, that's definitely important. And that's why it's important. All right, so my plan is to just go Blessing of Targon on Zed. That egg, did it move? That's the plan. Hey, Penguin. Shut your 
And hope that they do not have Fury of the North. Light a caretaker is so good. So good. Running into an opponent that can certainly make cards to block Zed. They're pretty good at blocking. Pain is nothing. Keep going. Darn. I was hoping they weren't going to do that. <laughs> I was hoping they wouldn't block there. Sure, that was too impatient of an attack by me, Darkness. and I just should not attack. I'm sure it was, but Boys, we are that was a frustration attack by me. The caretaker and Sejuani being frustrated. Ride onward. They grow up so fast. This would be me going to three. I don't think not attack. Like, let's say I just don't make that attack. I don't think we. I don't think we're winning. I don't think we beat that. It's not like we'd have a great block anyway. Yeah. So I might as well make that attack and see maybe maybe Sejuani doesn't block Zed, because it does represent strength making that attack. And so I was hoping that they would be worried about that. Sonic Wave and Pill Cascade are good, but the most important thing is that we have units first. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Priestess keeps looking awkward with the nightfall. Maybe we need the sun blessed one My shield instead is of the nightfall one. I could definitely be con convinced that I'm not. I'm supposed to just let that happen, not um, play that Pale Cascade, because then I would have the two extra mana, so I'd be able to Pale Cascade the Taric right now. Definitely be convinced that that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah. 
happen. escape punishment. No mercy for heretics. That means at 5-1, we can block Badger Bear, we can block anything with that. Calm mind and, open heart. Greet the night. and then, of course, we want to use this Blessing of Targon cool, during our turn on the Taric. Honor the Mountain. And now we will pump up. Uh, I don't think there's much of a difference between the two. Never submit. Cool. We still got a good amount of cards over there. Yeah, uh, Vaza, um, if you go to my deck page there, you can find the, you know, the second list will be the Encroaching Fortune deck, and you click on that link, and then you can find the code in there. Um, Lost in reflection? Not really lost. Fade and be gone. Per se. No further. The guilty will bear. I just don't really want to block I know you're with this 5-4, but I guess I will. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. Still have the mana for Bastion. Soldiers, to me! The mist on the allegiance. Um, let's see. See, I wish I still had that one other thing. I just want to do this first before there's another Bannerman or, or uh, you know, the six mana oh, thing that gives them plus one, plus one, the scout. You're covered. Sage, what does my future hold? Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later.
Okay, so we're going to go like this. And... Because Tarek's at 6, so now the 2-5 is going to support the Tarek to level up Tarek. So now whenever Tarek supports the Mentor of the Stones, not only does it get the Overwhelm, but then it should also get the... Yeah, so now it gets the can't da can't take damage or die from... So both both of these two, the Mentor of the Stones and the Tarek, can't take damage or die. Defend our banner! <laughs> if I didn't block with that 5-4, we could have had the 5-4 also get pumped up and gotten plus 4, plus 4. But, I don't know, it's just kind of risky not blocking. Feel the city, friend! The fight never ends. All right, so we don't have to worry about any rallies. That was their last card in hand. And we are one and one. Beautiful. That was better having Tarek in play. And Tarek was awesome. All right, GG's. Yeah, Zenith Blade was good that game. And that's the thing, Zenith Blade can be a good card, but it's not something, like we don't really want to draw like multiple Zeniths, probably. It's hard to fit in room for others, but yeah, like the I think the one Zenith is it's better to play than not to play. Um, but yeah, like the overwhelm was was helpful for sure with us growing these things large. It kind of like Zenith Blade like rewards us for being able to do everything else in our deck, and it like if we're not if we're not able if we're not doing like the things that we want to be doing, Zenith Blade isn't helping us out. Does that make sense? And so. And so I think that's like a good one of that like rewards you for whenever your your games are going well to to help really close out games. Yeah, we played. Yeah, that's that's what we did yesterday, Moby. We played a Taric with Draven yesterday with Noxus, where you got to play Might, Might with Taric, and that was pretty awesome. Um, all right, so my plan my plan with this hand was to not play anything turn one, not play anything turn two, and have Zed on three with Twin Disciplines to protect Zed on three. Um, I can now play this Soldier, I guess, but the, if I play... Like, the Soldier is good to play, but of course the problem with playing the Soldier is now I don't have any kind of... Or I don't have the same protection for Zed that I would have had before. Good news is we do have another Zed. That's the good news there. The other thing about playing Taric decks, as we saw that very last game, how I didn't have that extra unit to support, it may be a thing of where I try to just not trade ever because I don't want... Um, like, if I don't trade, then then I want to have more units to be able to help support. Now, it turned out to work well for us that I did trade, because Blighted Caretaker is pretty silly. I'm ready to shine. Really hope they don't have removal, I don't have protection from that, but Sonic Wave <clears throat> could be quite good. Turning our units into uh, blood caretakers. For Shatter them. Oh, I can't give I can't give this. Hmm, right. I guess that doesn't work like that. Well. Never submit. 
Okay, well that doesn't work as well as I thought it, it would. And it, it makes sense how it doesn't work like that. Oh, well, have, you get extra resonate, resonating strikes though, that's pretty cool. But basically by doing this with the Taric, now we're not letting them block with Nocturne on Taric now. See, that's why you gotta play new cards, you gotta learn about them. Okay, they're letting Zed level. Level up. That's cool. And now at 5 mana, I can play Shield Bear and have Twin Disciplines. Which is nice. Or, of course, we also have the Shadow Shift as well. Hmm. We are at 10. We gotta be doing some blocking. I am a true master. We get just block here. No shadow shift. I am the place in the darkness. Just do that and play New Zed. My plan is to my plan is to just save this to spell mana. Twin Disciplines plus 3 plus 0 on Taric doesn't quite... Doesn't quite level up Taric. That'd be 6 total. Just like how it got 3. It'd be 6. It's time to shine. Um... Everything's better with company. Says you. Let's play the Green Glade duo. Don't know if I can keep Tarek alive from this escape abomination, right? Like that's besides the plus zero plus three. I'm not sure. Can go priestess and invoke. And see what happens. don't really help. My next attack turn is going to be turn 8. They're definitely not taking Great Beyond. Um, guess I'll take this the Destroyer. No, I mean it's just going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Can't keep Tarek alive. To protect all. Full speed ahead. Still gonna force them to do a lot of blocking. Shadows cut deep as any weapon.
Because I, I just like attacking for seven with these instead. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I should be doing the plus three health. But... It's just so good to have these attack for seven. It really forces them to, to block. So we know they have another one of those Mist Callers in hand. It's going to be able to play another Mist Wraith. Ooh. Shadow shifting, that gives me another fearsome blocker. I'm telling y'all, fading memories with onlooker is awesome. My opponent is living the life over there. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. The guilty were banned. Where are you going? You cannot sway me. Down to two. Uh, the score is currently one and one. It looks like sometimes there's a visual bug with that. Sorry, I didn't notice that. There you go. We're currently one and one with our deck. At least it wasn't the, the Doom Beast that drains. It was going to drain and kill us. Definitely happy for that. But we couldn't, we couldn't just go straight to attacks because we didn't have lethal. This is seven right here. They can take these. They just block these three. So we still don't have lethal. But they have, you know, kind of nothing going on. Okay, we will go. Careful. Block, block. Oh, right. Got to block over here. Go down to one. And Zed should finish this game out for us. Super close game. Really, really good game. It reminds us there is always more. It's a good one. Pain 
They may draw, I mean, they could draw the two two mana drain one, right? Like they could win this. I guess maybe I should have blocked with the two one because of that. Oh, I thought that's what they had. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I just, oh man. If I just lost to that card, that'd be like something that I'd never do again until the next time. None escape their shadow. <laughs> Bad. Okay. Two and one. Whew. That was a good game right there. Man, Legends of Runeterra is awesome. So much good strategy and uh, skill and everything like that. All right, at least Nocturne. There's going to be another race. Keep this hand. Well, this hand, it's going to be okay, just like last time, it'll be okay to block with a Zed if we need to, to be able to, um, you know, take out, like, a fearsome threat that we need to, because we'll have a backup Zed. Shield Bear is awesome. I walk this path alone. Not ideal. Not ideal. If I play the Solari Soldier, I get to play Zed. Also. I am the blade in the darkness. Everything's better with company. Says you. Says you. So double spelling with the Green Glade duo. And the mentor of the stones. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. No. Honestly, maybe that was a mistake going with the, the gem on the Zed. Maybe I should have gone with the gem on the Soldier. So this thing is three power and fearsome. You know, they can just go straight to attacks. It's like that. that. I need to get used to like these gems. I'm glad they didn't go straight to attacks. So we're going to gem this thing and play shield bearer. In the name of the Solari. All right, shield is not daybreak anymore, but oh well, I got to play the gems, you know, got to play the gem first. No, I. <laughs> so I kept bashing up originally, but they played just this extra threat out here, so. Okay, well now I'll do that. 
Ouch, this is gonna hurt. There is no reason not to attack with that 4-3. You cannot sway me. Alright, we're still at 10. We are still at 10. That's a good draw, that fell cascade. Yep, I should have jumped to that Solari Soldier, but I don't know if it would have mattered with the Frenzy Skitter. Stand resolute. Alright, so we still got good value out of the Spell Shield. Pretty good for us. This is a 4 3 tough. So, like, to kill the 4 3 tough, they'd have to block with the other 4 3. But, you know, that was just a 2 2 just right before this. Okay, so they're taking that. They're going down to 1. Nope. Not going down to 1. Some pretty awesome games uh, going on here. Your beauty. I am Claim what is ours. All right, down to one. They still got a bunch of cards. Zenith Blade. Will help if we get another attack. But right now, the Challenger and the Zenith Blade don't need them. So we got Will of Ionia to bounce something. And we have a Spell Shield to protect our thing. That's all I got. I need to play this to get another fearsome blocker, I guess. Do I have a need to do that? I mean, I could just do Sonic Wave for that. I don't need to do that. So we're going to need Zenith Blade, Zenith Blade Zed, is what we're going to need. Spell shield. Really glad that doesn't do one damage to the Nexus. All right, we are three and one. Zenith Blade dead. <laughs> so we don't need that second 
Zenith Blade. We only need the first. It's the only one we need. <laughs> I know, right? Both of those games, we played against Mr. Eights twice in a row. Both super, super close games. They, you know, we, we, we uh, won them both. The closest games. We were at one life, both of our last two wins. Thankfully, they'd already played two that, that drained one card. This is going to be a tough matchup. Twist of Fate Swain's awesome. I don't love one health things against Twist of Fate Swain. I do like the card advantage that Priestess can give. But I want to try to reduce the number of one health things that, the, that we have as far as make it rain and everything like that is concerned. Unyielding light. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Darn. Spell shield Poro fly. Have a bunch of pump, but we need to have our units survive and be able to stay out there. I wish I had seven mana for Blessing of Targon and Pill Cascade. <sighs> but worth it to just go Blessing of Targon right now on Taric, support the 1 1, get another Blessing of Targon. Turn that thing into a 4 4, but then it's attacking. Lost in reflection? Yep. Lost in reflection. You called it. Hmm. I don't really like any option I have. I can go Sonic Wave, then play the Priestess, but then they, you know, Twisted Fate Red card just messes up a lot of things. Need another unit that's. Okay, so now we have more mana. You know, last turn with just the six mana, now we have more, now we have nine, so now we have. Blessing of Targon plus Pale Cascade plus Pale Cascade. Pretty awesome there as far as protecting stuff goes. Admire me later. <clears throat> also have to be worried about our Nexus, of course. Honor 
the mountain. No further. Seven mana. Hey, hey, Zeichens, it's going pretty good. Kind of stuck with this game without good options. But besides that, it is going good. I am the blade in the darkness. Mm. Need one more mana. So I had to do that with the, the Tarek of grow it up to three health first because of um, because of Twisted Fate, just like Twisted Fate gold card, all that kind of stuff. Oh, it doesn't just give itself tough? I guess it has to support to give itself tough. Well, I'm really glad they didn't just block with the spray fin. I'm yeah, they just have to visit the gold card anyway. That was a really freak team, and Outrageous. that's just going to be a tough matchup. They have so many good answers, so much good removal, and they they did. All right, so we went three and two there with Zed Tarek. Yeah, trying to play small units. You know, that's, that's what our deck's trying to do. You know, Mentor the Stone, Zed. Like, these are small units, and they are really good at killing small units. Yeah, that's a tough matchup for sure. Um, all right, but there we go. That was that one was pretty awesome. That's that's the kind of matchup, like, where you need, uh, you, know, you need, like, some less vigor more. Like, that's that's a more important card in, in that matchup. And some less vigor, Tiari's good there, that kind of stuff. But still... That's difficult. Um, the Sonic Wave wasn't as good as I was expecting because you know we don't you don't get to give Tarek Challenger and then also give Zed Challenger, so that one wasn't as good as I was expecting. I could definitely see taking out one of these for a Sun or for a Sun Blessed Vigor as we were just talking about. I, I wouldn't mind trading out and you know maybe just having one and one. It's still pretty nice. Like it's nice having that Challenger to be able to have that removal, but it's probably not something that you need two of. Um, or, you know, you could play a second Zenith Blade, but I think that's just a one of. And then, yeah, go with the Sunblessed Vigor instead of that other card. All right, pretty awesome there. That's Zed Tarek. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think there with uh, this Zed Tarek deck and just all the other decks that we're playing and, and other decks that you have that you're playing. You know, just leave those comments, giving that information. Um, always love seeing that. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.